But you know, when you take a photograph on your phone, it saves information, for example, where you took it and when you took it. And this information is good to have because you can use it to locate your photos. Um, uh, but the downside about that is when you share a photo on social media, uh, this metadata can be used by um, other people to find out where you live and where you work, or where you went on vacation. Um, so I just wanted to um, bring that up. All right. Now let's see what's next. So um, our operating system on our new phones allow us to remove this metadata before you share it on social media. And this is how you share it now. All right, so it says go to photos, share icon, options blue, and turn location off. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to find this. If I go to photos on my phone. Photos, share icon. I would have never thought to go to the share icon. I don't see it as an option. Okay. I don't, I don't see it. Oh, oh, hold on. We go to our photos. We go to a photo. Now I get it. Now okay. I get it. All right. Let me let me go back to this screen here. New share. Now I now I remember. Okay, here we are. So here are my photos that I've taken. Um, I am going to, this is just a silly photo. I'm gonna select this photo. <laughs> now this down here is the share icon. Can you see that arrow wiggling? Yes. Okay, if you click on the share icon there and we go to options. Options, thank you. Options up at the top. Yep. Options, okay. Ah. Okay, here we are. We found it. Ding, 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 ding. It's buried, but do you see where it says include all photo data? Yep. When yes. sharing, that is where you turn your metadata on. That includes the location, um, when you took it, uh, and it will also even, I think, identify your face. But don't we want that off so that people don't see where? That's up to you. Oh, okay. So there's an advantage and a disadvantage, Kathy. The advantage is that if you are sorting through your photos, Mm -hmm. And do you know, like if you take a trip, say you take a trip to Europe and you want to make a book um, and you want all your photos from Europe. Well, the easiest way to find all your photos you took from Europe is by going into photos and I'll show you. I'm going to say done here, but I'll show you. I'm going to go back to my photos. And what I want to do down, down here, down at the bottom, do you see the little search button where I'm wiggling? Mm -hmm. there's, there's a little magnifier. If you click on that and you type in, I'm going to type in um, California. California. I have 470, 457 pictures from California. If I click on that, it breaks it down even more. I'll click on. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yep. And um, it even breaks it down to see how it has facial recognition. It says there's five pictures of me, five pictures on the Miwok Trail, nature. Well, let's click on nature. And it, you can just find all your pictures so easily using this okay. method. So but that's it, but it, it, yeah. So it's sort of up to you whether or not you want to put that on.